The contents of this room have given pleasure and inspiration to people for many generations. They are irreplaceable. The contents of this room, in their own way, are just as important, providing financial information, municipal records, corporate data. Losing either the records or the ability to generate them, even temporarily, could be devastating. Damage to or the destruction of the high technology core of marine, industrial or medical centers could create irreplaceable loss. Loss of the functions performed by this essential equipment is often more important than the equipment itself. The fact is, if the contents or operations of areas such as these were to be destroyed or disrupted by fire or by the process of putting out the fire, it could be a tragedy, a needless one. Because today we have the means to prevent it. That means of prevention is a unique extinguishing called Halon 1301. DuPont makes it. It marks a major step forward in the technology of extinguishing fire. You may never have heard of Halon 1301, but any time you take a commercial flight, you and your fellow passengers are protected by it. By FAA requirements, every engine of every airliner manufactured in the United States uses Halon 1301 to protect against fire. Not only does Halon 1301 save space and weight, it stops fire instantly. DuPont Halon 1301 is colorless and odorless. It's stored in the form of a liquid under pressure. When released, it changes instantly to a gas and extinguishes the fire. Its chemical name is bromo trifluoromethane. A lot of name for a lot of capability. What makes DuPont's Halon 1301 such a unique firefighter is the way it goes about stopping a fire. For a fire to start, three things are necessary. Fuel, oxygen, and heat. These components, when present in the proper proportion, make possible the chemical reaction known as combustion. Other extinguishing agents deprive the fire of oxygen, smother it, or deprive it of heat by cooling it. By contrast, Halon 1301 acts directly on the combustion process itself. It interferes with the molecular interaction, stops it from taking place. With the required concentration of Halon 1301 in the atmosphere, less than 7% for most combustibles, flame is extinguished instantly on contact. This unique ability to permeate the atmosphere where a fire is starting and stop it on contact is especially suited to enclosed areas. Whatever the size of the space, from a large factory area to a small records vault, a Halon 1301 system can permeate the entire atmosphere in less than 10 seconds. This is known as the total flooding principle. And this is where Halon 1301 is unbeatable. But for all its powerful effect on fire, DuPont's Halon 1301, at the low concentrations typically used, has very little effect on people. In fact, when used within the guidelines of the National Fire Protection Association's current edition of standard number 12A, exposure to a fire-stopping concentration of Halon 1301 is safe for the time it takes to evacuate the affected area. And since it is a clear gas, Halon 1301 doesn't obstruct visibility. In more than a decade of practical use, there is no reported instance of anyone being harmed by inhalation of Halon 1301. It's remarkable to see this unique extinguishant in action. To show you its ability to extinguish flame instantly while leaving people unharmed, we'll use this booth. Up here is a small cylinder of Halon 1301. This cable release 
triggers it to flood the boot's atmosphere with the required concentration of extinguishing, a pound and a half in this enclosure. Now we add the Halon 1301. Our demonstrator is completely unaffected by the moderate concentration of gas that permeates the atmosphere of the booth. Flame simply cannot exist in that same atmosphere. He can survive in it, but flame cannot. When you use DuPont's Halon 1301 to protect your irreplaceables, it has the ability to penetrate into every nook and cranny where fire might be hidden. That's what the total flooding concept is all about. In a way, total flooding is a misleading term. Nothing is flooded in the usual sense when Halon 1301 gas is released into an enclosed area. What does happen is a very rapid total mixing of the Halon 1301 with the air to form a uniform fire extinguishing mixture. And that mixture reaches quickly into any place where a fire might be. This will show you what I mean. If this were the interior of cabinet enclosed electronic equipment, for example, it would be hard for extinguishing from an ordinary overhead sprinkler system to reach all areas inside. With Halon 1301, it's different. The Halon air mixture, being heavier than air, displaces any pockets of unmixed air, wherever they are in the room. When Halon 1301 permeates the atmosphere, all flames are extinguished. It really doesn't matter what kind of a fire. It can be flammable liquid, an electrical fire, wood or paper. But in every case, the rapid flaming is stopped when DuPont Halon 1301 reaches it. Even deep-seated fires are suppressed, although some remaining embers may need to be extinguished manually. Of course, other types of extinguishants have their use. Usually, the overall structure of the building may be protected by a water sprinkler system. But to protect essential contents within the building, no other extinguishant can match the performance of DuPont Halon 1301. Halon 1301 is non-conductive. It will not cause a short circuit while stopping an electrical fire. It is non-corrosive. It has been shown through extensive testing that it will not harm delicate or expensive equipment. It doesn't radically change the air temperature, so it cannot endanger equipment through thermal shock or moisture condensation. It cannot soak or stain or soil anything. Halon 1301 minimizes business interruption and downtime. If the protected area contains people, the use of extinguishants like CO2 or nitrogen require a delay in application. These gases are less effective than Halon 1301, needing much higher concentrations for extinguishment. And because of these high concentrations, which reduce the oxygen to a level hazardous to human beings, Time must be allowed for personnel evacuation before the agents release. And within this time, a fire can get a disastrous head start, especially if flammable liquids or gases are involved. With DuPont Halon 1301, you stop the fire in the first few seconds. By the time people evacuate, the fire is out not growing by the second while they are getting clear. The effectiveness of a Halon 1301 extinguishing system can be established through actual comparisons. Here is a direct comparison of two major telephone exchanges. One had no fire extinguishing system, the other had a Halon 1301 system. Both had fires. The unprotected one burned for quite a time before it was brought under control. The total loss, damage, and recovery costs extended into millions of dollars. The Halon 1301 system at this exchange stopped the fire in seconds. Total loss, 
and recovery costs were below $10,000. And that included recharging the system with Halon 1301. Let's look at it another way, so that you can see for yourself that DuPont's Halon 1301 extinguishant is the logical choice. This bar represents the cost of an ordinary extinguishant system. Your initial investment may be higher for a Halon 1301 system, but what you're paying to protect against is fire and its damage. And there's much more to consider than just the fire itself. To begin with, there is the cost of fire damage. Then there's the cost of extinguishing damage and its cleanup. There's the cost of restoring the extinguishing system to operation and the cost of downtime or business interruption. For the Halon 1301 system, compare the costs of the fire stopped in the first few seconds with no extinguishing damage, no extinguishing cleanup, and downtime or business interruption minimal. Add the total cost of recharging the system with Halon 1301, and that's all. The true cost effectiveness of any fire protection system must take into consideration all the costs after there's been a fire. Here are a couple of actual examples of what happens in a computer room where a fire has been controlled by just a typical water extinguishing system. This California center was protected by sprinklers. A short circuit in one of the computers started a fire. One sprinkler had opened to confine the fire to this single piece of equipment. But the fire damage was extensive, with loss of $250,000, not including the downtime. And here's one more. In an EDP fire in Massachusetts, the system worked, holding the fire to one piece of equipment, but by the time water had penetrated to put out the fire, heat and smoke damage to burning circuit boards and PVC insulation caused a loss of $150,000. We could relate dozens more, but the real point here is that a truly economical extinguishing system is the one that delivers the lowest total cost after a fire occurs. Again and again, DuPont's Halon 1301 has proven this by stopping fires before they could cause serious damage. Today, the unique capabilities and advantages of DuPont Halon 1301 are standing guard all across the spectrum of fire protection. In industry, communications, record storage, the professions, transportation, wherever there are areas of high value and vulnerability. In your operation, there are probably areas whose contents you simply cannot afford to lose, or areas so vital to the functioning of your business that you have to ensure their continuing operation. That's why you should look carefully at the unique protection provided by DuPont Halon 1301, the only fire extinguisher of its kind. Your Halon 1301 system specialist is the expert on application. He can analyze your specific needs and advise how those needs can be met with a system that will deliver DuPont Halon 1301, the instant firefighter.